And now a page from our Sunday morning almanac. June 12th, 1883, 128 years ago today. The day Papa and everyone else got a brand new bag. Well, that was the day a patent was issued for a machine that made a paper bag with a flat bottom and pleated sides. A bag that could stand upright and stay open all on its own. Labeled the SOS, the self-opening sack, it was the technological breakthrough the world had been waiting for. Before long, shoppers all over the world were bringing home the goods in that ubiquitous bag. And playful pranksters were constantly figuring out clever ways to have fun with it, a tradition that endures to this day. The paper bag even played an unlikely role in a Seinfeld episode. So, what do you want to see? How about sack lunch? How about the English patient? It's up for all those Oscars. Oh, come on, Blaine. I mean, look at the poster for sack lunch. It's a family in a brown paper bag. Don't you want to know how they got in there? <laughs> no. But in recent years, the paper bag has been punching it out with an upstart competitor, the plastic bag. The rivalry, which has made this... Would you like paper or plastic? ...one of the most divisive questions of our time. Some have gone so far as to call for a ban on the plastic bag, while many environmentalists point out that the manufacture and disposal of both sorts of bags can cause pollution, and that shoppers should actually opt for reusable bags instead. Still, after all these years, it's safe to say the brown paper bag isn't going anywhere anytime soon. Unless it's to school with somebody's lunch inside. <laughs> <laughs>